the best nest. Mr. Bird was happy. He was so happy he had to sing. This was Mr. Bird's song. I love my house. I love my nest. In all the world, my nest is best. Then Mrs. Bird came out of the house. It's not the best nest, she said. I'm tired of this old place. And I hate it. Let's look for a new place right now. So they left the old place to look for a new one. This place looks nice, said Mr. Bird. Let's move in here. But somebody else had already moved in. So they looked in at another house. This one looks nice, says Mr. Bird. And there's nobody in it. You're wrong, said Mrs. Bird. This house belongs to a foot. So they went on looking. I like this one, said Mr. Bird. It has a pretty red flag on the roof. I've always won a house with a flag, said Mrs. Bird. Maybe this place will be all right. But it was not all right. I guess I made a mistake, said Mr. Bird. You made too many mistakes, said Mrs. Bird. I'm going to pick the next house. And here it is, right here. They flew in. They looked around. Isn't it too big, asked Mrs. Bird. I like this big place, said Mrs. Bird. This is the place to build our new nest. They went right to work. They needed many things to build their nest. First, they got some hay. They got some soda straws. They got some sweater string. They got some socking string. And mattress stuffing. They got some horse hair. They got some man hair. Soon they had all the hay, all the straw, all the string, all the stuffing, all the horse hair, all the man hair they could carry. They took it all back to build their nest. Mr. and Mrs. Bird worked very hard. It took them the rest of the morning to finish their nest. This nest is really the best, said Mrs. Bird. I want to stay here forever. Mr. Bird was very happy too. He flew up to the top of his house and sang his song again. I love our house. I love our nest. In all the world, our nest is best. He was so happy and so busy singing, he didn't even see Mr. Parker coming. Every day at 12 o'clock, Mr. Parker came to the perch. Mr. Parker came to pull a rope. The rope went up to the bird's new nest. The rope rang the bell right under Mrs. Bird's nest. Boing, boing, boing. Mrs. Bird got out there as fast as she could fly. Boing, 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 boing. When Mr. Bird came in, all he could see was a mess of hay and string and stuffing and horse hair and man hair and straws. Where was Mrs. Bird? I will look for her until I find her, said Mr. Bird. He looked high, he looked low. He looked everywhere for Mrs. Bird. He looked down into the chimney, but Mrs. Bird wasn't there. He looked down into a water barrel. But Mrs. Bird wasn't there. He saw a big fat cat. There was a big fat smile on the cat's face. There was some pretty brown feathers near the fat cat's mouth. Mr. Bird began to cry. Oh dear, he cried. This big fat cat has eaten Mrs. Bird. Mr. Bird flew off. I'll never see Mrs. Bird again, he cried. It was getting dark. It began to rain. 
It rained harder and harder. Mr. Bird could not see where he was going. Crash! Mr. Bird bumped into something. It was his old house. That old, old house and Mrs. Bird hated. I'll go inside, said Mr. Bird. I'll rest here until the rain stops. And Mr. Bird went in, and there was Mrs. Bird sitting there, singing. I love my house. I love my nest. In all the world, this nest is best. You, here, that's Mr. Bird. I thought you hated this old nest. Mrs. Bird smiled. I used to hate it, she said, but Mother Bird can change her mind. You see, there's a no nest like an old nest for a brand new bird. And when the egg popped open, the new bird thought so too.